I want to show you a, uh, a small presentation on how to scan a stream uh, for balanced parentheses or balanced symbols. Um, we're going to uh, look at, uh, when I say balanced parentheses, uh, they come in uh, several shapes, uh, left and right parentheses, left and right uh, curly brackets, and left and right square brackets. Um, and the expressions that we're looking at are said to be balanced if there, for every open or left hand symbol there is a corresponding right hand symbol and they, there has to be uh, both of them there. And they have to be in a specific order. And I'm going to show you what that order actually looks like. In essence, it means it must be balanced. That if you split the stream in half, the left should be a mirror image of the right hand side. And here's exactly what we're looking at. Um, this is a balanced set of parentheses, and you'll see that we have a, a curly bracket, a left square bracket, a left parentheses, a right parentheses, a right square bracket, and a right uh, curly brace. Uh, and they are balanced. And they're balanced because if we look at the symbols themselves, we see the left parentheses and the right parentheses. And again, we're ignoring everything that's inside of them right now. We're just checking to see if they're, they're balanced. Uh, that encompasses an expression. And then uh, the square brackets encompass that expression. And then the curly braces, as they're called, encompasses the whole thing. And that is balanced. Well, how does a compiler or how does a program actually check to see if an expression that contains these actually has a balanced, uh, balanced set? Well, the, the algorithm looks somewhat like this. Well, first of all, you get the first symbol, and then you enter in a while loop. And while there are still characters in the expression that you're looking at, you do the following. For this particular purpose, if it's not a left and right uh, parentheses, square brace, or curly brace, we're going to ignore the characters. We're not going to look and see what's inside of them. So, and if you see a left-hand symbol, you put it on a stack. And we'll talk about a stack when I look at the code. If you see a right-hand symbol, then you're going to do one of the following things. If the stack is empty, well, if it's empty, then if you've got a right-hand symbol, you've actually got an error. So you report the error and you stop. If the symbol on the stack doesn't match the right-hand version of the symbol that you have, then you've got a problem too in your report error. If it does match, then what you do is you pop the item from the stack and you discard both the left and the right symbols and you get the next element. Once you go through the whole string, if you read in all the elements and the stack's not empty, that's an error and you're reported. If the stack is empty, well, you've got a balanced set. Okay, So let's look at that. So here's our first uh, scenario. We're actually going to do a little... Uh, paper exercise on how this works. So here's our, our stream that we've got put in, and it's the one we looked at before. Uh, a left curly brace, a left square bracket, a left and right parentheses, a right uh, square bracket, and a right curly brace. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up like this. Now a computer can't see the whole string at once. It can only look at one character at a time, and it can only compare two things. So here on the right hand side is our input and we can only see the top element or the first element and that's the uh, left uh, curly brace and it's a left symbol so in our algorithm we put that onto the stack. Okay? And the next thing that pops up is the left square bracket. So it's a left square bracket, it's a left hand symbol, we put that on the stack. And then we see the left parentheses, uh, it's a left symbol, we put that on the stack. Now we see a right parentheses. Since it's a right parentheses, is the stack empty? No, it's not empty. And we see that the top element over there is a left parentheses, so we pop it from the stack and discard both items. The next item we see is a right square bracket, and on the stack we see that there's a left square bracket. It corresponds, so we discard both items. And then we see a right curly brace, and on the stack we see a left curly brace which corresponds to it too and we discard both of them we find that we are in at the end of our expression and therefore it's balanced now then let's go on to the next uh, scenario this one is also balanced it's a little bit more complex but just by scanning it we can take a look at it and see but again a computer can't do that it only has to look at one element at a time and compare two so we have our string input on the right hand side and our stack on the left it's a left-hand symbol, we put it on the stack. Another left-hand symbol, we put it on the stack. Another left-hand symbol, we put it on the stack. Here's a right-hand symbol. It matches the top element on the stack. We discard them both. There's a right-hand symbol. It matches the element on the stack. We discard them both. 
There's a left-hand symbol. We put it on the stack. There's a, another left-hand symbol. We put it on the stack. There's the corresponding right-hand symbol to the left one on the stack. We discard both of them. The square right-hand bracket matches the square left-hand on the stack. We discard them. And finally, the last element is the left and right curly brace. We discard them. Uh, the stack is empty. We're at the end of our expression, and we've not found any errors. Therefore, we conclude that the expression is balanced. Okay. Now let's look at an error. And again, we can look at this scenario, and we can see that it's not balanced. Uh, it needs another square bracket uh, right after or before, right after the uh, parentheses, and it's not there. Well, let's put this in our uh, program and let's check it. So we have a left curly brace. We put that on the stack. A left square brace. We put that on the stack. Another left square brace. We put that on the stack. A left parentheses. We put that on the stack, and we see a right parentheses that matches what's on the stack. So we discard both of those. We see a right square bracket. It matches what's on the stack. We discard both of those. But here's where we have a problem. On the right hand side we see we have a right curly brace, but we have a left square bracket on the left hand side. They don't match and therefore uh, we have an error. They're not balanced. Okay. Let's look at a couple more er errors. Here is uh, scenario four. Again we have a uh, unbalanced set right here. We have too many right hand side uh, uh, symbols. And uh, we're going to go through this. Let's put it into our program and check it. We have a left curly brace, and we put that on the stack. We have a left square brace. We put that on the stack. We have a right parentheses, and that matches the item on the stack, so we discard both of those. We have a right uh, square bracket, and that matches the left square bracket on our stack, so we discard that. And else we have a right square bracket on the right and a left curly bracket on the left. Again, that's an error. We discard those. Uh, we report an error and we stop. There's really no reason to go any further. Okay. Our last scenario is this. Okay. Uh, no curly braces, just a square and parentheses. So let's go ahead and put that into our program here and we see we have a left-hand symbol and as long as we have left-hand symbols we're just going to put those on the stack. Very simple. Go through real quick. And now we have a right-hand symbol. We have a left-hand symbol on the stack. We discard it. A right-hand parentheses. We discard the left-hand parentheses on the stack. Another right parentheses, and it matches what's on the stack. A right square bracket, and that matches the left square bracket on the stack. But now notice that we have approached the end of our string, but the stack is not empty. And therefore, we have an error. It's not a balanced set. All right, so that's mechanically how you go about it. That's actually the algorithm. That's what it looks like. But what does the program look like? Well, I wrote one in C++ to kind of show you just a very, very simple little example of it. I just sat down for a few minutes and wrote this up. I've got a few. Um, uh, all I did was uh, my main routine right here is uh, read in a string, and I check to see if it's balanced. I call balanced, and that returns a true or false whether it's balanced or not. I have a few helper routines up in here. The um, the uh, boolean uh, do I care, I pass it a character. If it's not a left or right parentheses, square bracket, or curly bracket, I, I, I don't want to worry myself about it. I'm only concerned about those characters. I ask the question if the character I pass in is a left-hand version of it. Is it a left parentheses, a left square bracket, or a left curly bracket? Then I have another one that says, is it a match pair? Is the two that I pass in the same type? Are they parentheses, square brackets, or braces? And then finally, my balanced. Let's look at the, the uh, routines right here that don't care. Uh, again, I'm only looking at the uh, left and right curly braces, square, and braces and parentheses. Um, Boolean left hand, is it a left hand parentheses, curly brace, or square bracket? And finally, is it a match set? Is it a left and right parentheses, left and right curly brace, left and right square bracket? Very simple routines, very simple. Here is the algorithm, and it matches the one that I had initially. It's the program. I uh, pass it a string, and what it does is it goes through one character at a time, uh, and I use index to go through the character. I pull the character in, and it says, if I don't care, I just continue and go to the next one. 
If it's a left hand one, I push it on the stack. Else, if it's not a left hand symbol, I know it's a right hand symbol. If the stack is empty, I return false. Okay, it's not a valid uh, string. If it's not a matched pair, I return false because it can't be balanced. If I get past these two if statements, then I know that the stack is not empty and that they are a matched pair, so I pop the item from the stack. This ends my while loop. I go back up and get the next character and repeat that process. Once this while loop goes through the entire process, uh, and if the stack is empty, I return true. If the stack is not empty, I return false. Very, very, very simple. Okay. All right. Well, I enjoyed doing this for you. Uh, and if uh, you like this video, press like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, look forward to doing more for you.